What is something you used to strongly believe in that you no longer believe in at all? I'll go first. I think for me, one thing that I no longer believe in, in that is that I had to prove how strong I was to earn a man's respect. I am ex-military. I used to be in the army back in the day and it taught me to be strong, to be tough and all that. So I would be lugging in big bags of groceries, be trying to pick up stuff, like doing all this stuff around the house. And it took my husband being like, babe, you don't have to do that. Um, and really sort of cultivating me resting in my femininity and letting me know that he still saw me as strong, even if I didn't have to like bring in this or do that, or my husband takes out the trash, he tells me to call him before I get home so he can come outside and take the groceries from the car to the house. He's not asking me to do, I don't have to prove myself or how strong I am to a man. And that works for every area of your life. You can rest in your femininity when you feel safe enough with the right man to do so. What is something you used to strongly believe in that you no longer believe in at all? I love this question. So I used to believe that the law of attraction was literally like, like attracts like. What I didn't understand was that if you are a good hearted person, you know, it's not just that you're going to line up with good hearted people. In fact, if you are somebody that you know that you are here to do healing work on the planet, to really elevate the consciousness on the planet, your good heart is actually going to have you magnetize quite a few people that are very shadow bound and very harmful to yourself and others, whether it's mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. So the thing to understand is that attraction is not just about being like, it's about having a like connection to elevate the frequency on the planet. Be very careful who you attract into your life. What is something you used to strongly believe in that you no longer believe in at all? All right. I think being an African man damaged me so much to the point where I actually believed in the false narrative around toxic masculinity, where we believe that all you can get from a woman is just warm cooked meals and sex. And this is why today you realize that a lot of men are resentful towards their women because honestly we cannot remember anything else that we received from these women, not even a gift, not even on your birthday. We have conditioned these women to simply just come and offer sex because that's all they've been giving to us for the longest time. And now when I advise young men regarding relationships, I am telling them, I tell them that it's okay to have a high expectation of your woman. It's okay to be a crybaby. It's okay to sit there with your emotions and expect attention from your woman. She needs to offer more than just sex. If all she does is cooking, then it's not right. What is something you used to strongly believe in that you no longer believe in at all? Being a strong, independent woman, I don't do that anymore. I'm a damsel in distress, okay? I can absolutely take care of myself, but I don't want to. What is something you used to strongly believe in that you no longer believe in at all? Being too understanding romantically. Let's talk about it. For the longest, I would date people for who they were and not for their circumstance in life. And my reasoning was, we all have our own obstacles, we're all going through our own separate things, we all have our own story, so I shouldn't apply that to who they are as a person, right? And boy was I wrong because our situation and where they are in life matters a lot. I felt like I shouldn't worry about your employment status, how much money you make or where you live because those are all material things and don't define you as a person, right? I, I, wrong again because a lot of times those things are tied into people's self-perception, self-confidence and self-worth. It took me a very long time to understand that with people not being where they want to be in life comes a high risk of them being insecure and feeling inadequate within themselves. And if I date them, their insecurities and inadequacies can rub off on me. So I now realize that being too understanding can do more harm than good for me. And I now know that I want someone who's secure with themselves, which also means being secure where they are in life. And wanting that is okay. What is something you used to strongly believe in that you no longer believe in at all? Take your life seriously. This shit is a joke. And I'm gonna laugh it off. <laughs> what is something you used to strongly believe in that you no longer believe in at all. I'll go first. Splitting the check with men. Oh. What is something you used to strongly believe in that you no longer believe in at all? 
the idea that my pain and trauma has a purpose, that all things are working together for my good, that if I never had a problem, I wouldn't know that God could solve them. Pretty much anything that tries to redeem suffering. Ideologies like this, in my opinion, give a green light to spiritual bypassing. In other words, it keeps us from dealing with the complexities of the trauma and pain, trauma and pain that linger long after they have been redeemed. And it warps societal imagination to believe that people have to suffer in order for some divine purpose to be revealed in them later on. These days, I'm far less interested in the idea of redeeming people's suffering than I am in contributing to a world in which people don't have to suffer or experience pain in order for them to have value or purpose. What is something you used to strongly believe in that you no longer believe in at all? I'll go first. So I'm sure a lot of people have done this, but I used to strongly believe that I had to trauma bond with people. Like if you was my new homegirl or say a date, like a guy, if you was the new homegirl, I felt like I had to share my past experiences about trauma and adversity etc for them to really or for you to really understand me to make sure that we could keep this friendship going down the line because I have a trigger of not being seen fully and met where I need to be met but in reality I realize closed mouth I don't need to trauma bond with nobody in my past ain't nobody's business and the same with men I would sit there and feel like dang I gotta tell him before the streets do or, you know, whatever it is. And it's like, no, because then they would use that as ammunition if they were the wrong guy to trigger me or harm me. So, oh. What is something you used to strongly believe in that you no longer believe in at all? The entire concept of dualism. Because if we have good and we have evil, then every person in the history of time is going to think they're good and the other person is evil. The entire concept of duality does nothing but otherize people. And instead of bringing us together, it separates us. The reality is there is no light and dark because there cannot be light without darkness and there cannot be darkness without light. They literally cannot exist without one another. Therefore, they are not separate, but two parts of one whole. You know, when you look at Christianity and the dualism from Christianity, what you have is otherizing. It's not about love. It's about exclusion. It's about love for the in-group who gets to go to heaven, and hatred for the outgroup, who gets to burn in hell for all of eternity. That's dualism. Because in dualism, when you choose something, you refuse everything else. Don't choose. Dualism is trash. Not what is something you used to strongly believe in that you no longer believe in at all? I'll go first. Everything. Monogamy. Christianity. Specifically the homophobia that comes with it. Working. Being the bigger person, letting shit go. Moving around people who are taking up the sidewalk, it, it's not going to happen. Men, broad stroke. Not wearing my bonnet outside. That white people aren't inherently both perpetrators and beneficiaries of white supremacy because of things that they have gone through in their current state of living. Respecting elders just because. The Pledge of Allegiance, child, I, I let that shit go in elementary school. And, and clearly making my hair presentable. Clearly, I don't give a fuck. What is something you used to strongly believe in that you no longer believe in at all? Me, hi, I'll go first. The fear of death. I used to believe that I needed to fear death because it's very popular in our society to fear death. That is just a super, super unfortunate 3D matrix trap. Major corporations, big business politics, they exploit us because of our fear of death. They make trillions of thousands of hundreds of thousands of trillions of dollars off of us being afraid of death. When in fact, we have been taught that we are this physical vessel, right? That we're nothing but this physical flesh, this vessel, once we're gone, we're gone. When in fact, we're not. We're the soul in the vessel. We are the observer of our experience. We're literally a soul having a human experience. If you know anything about souls or energy, you know that energy can never be destroyed, only transferred. What does that mean? Reincarnation is real. You never actually die. When you're done in this physical form, in this physical vessel, the essence of who you are, the soul, travels elsewhere and continues its path. You never actually die, right? And so with us believing that we are just a physical vessel, it's so much easier to sell us things because we're so afraid of death. Like we're afraid of aging, we're afraid of death. And it's really sad because all major corporations 
make so much money off of that alone. And if we stop fearing death, the power dynamic would completely flip. They scare the shit out of you with death because they think that you think that death is real. And although you do lose the physical form that you're in, the actual essence of who you are never, ever, ever dies. They know that most of the world doesn't know that. So they literally exploit humans using death. And that is very unfortunate. And I no longer believe in that shit. What is something you used to strongly believe in that you no longer believe in at all? There is honestly no real simple way to put this. So I'm just going to explain it. When I was a kid, I used to believe there was like a certain order to things, a certain structure at all times that kept everything running and everything held together. And adults were wise beings that could guide us along our journey. And that's all a load of bullshit. To become an adult, I have realized the world's not getting crazier. We're just finally realizing just how crazy it is. We're connected to the internet 24-7. You're holding a phone right now. We have a constant stream and access to information. And so things have always been a little batshit. It's just now the technology is making it more out there. And if you never get a break from this stream of constant information, including very traumatic and scary information, you are going to believe that the entire world's gone mad when really in all actuality, it's never changed. There's been bad people. There have always been corrupt politicians. There has always been some kind of scam going on. On top of that, half the time, we don't even know if it's a lie. Adults don't know any more about what they're doing than we do. You can work at customer service long enough to see that ain't nobody got their shit together. No one. The one who claims to, you're looking at them like, yeah, I kind of see through your bullshit. You have no fucking idea either. The world's always been chaotic. What is something you used to strongly believe in that you no longer believe in at all? I'll go first. Let's get it. So I used to strongly believe that I have to learn how to cook, clean, in order to get a husband. If that's not grooming, I don't know what is. So from growing and um, being independent and learning more deep into my culture and seeing like some of the things that we need to reevaluate, this is another one. So um, the whole grooming of teaching us how to cook and clean and being motherly and all that stuff to get us a good husband, really? What is something you used to strongly believe in that you no longer believe in at all? Black love. Black women dating outside their race is betrayal. Never learn about your body sexually until you are married. Black men don't like loose girls.